This is Hannibal from the Hannibal TV dot com with a news update on 53 year old Terry Runnels, who I did a shoot interview recently, making some allegations to key on sports that Brock Lesnar, quote, did something that if it was today, in this day and time, you know, dot, 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 he showed his penis to me. So she's coming out in this whole speaking out movement, alleging that Brock Lesnar showed his penis to her at Armageddon 2002 in the UK, not Armageddon. What the hell was it called? The pay-per-view in the UK in 2002, Insurrection, I think it was called. This was not the first time Terry made these allegations. She also made them to the Pro Wrestling Torch in 2004 when she said, quote, I have no respect for him whatsoever. The reason being, and this may be because he was yum and dumb, and we've all had our yum, young and dumb moments, when he was first in the business, I will never forget, we were at a pay-per-view in England and the girls' dressing room and some other little room were right next to each other. Dustin was in this other room watching a monitor. Beside Dustin was Brock. He was in the middle to the right of Brock was Kurt Henning. When I walked next door to say something to Dustin, I forget what, Brock was sitting there in a towel and Brock opened the towel and exposed himself. And boy, was that a little red penis. I've never seen something so red. I didn't know skin could be pink like a mouse. I just didn't understand that could happen. But it was this pink thing. I remember thinking, number one, well, why would you want me to show that? Number two, how disrespectful it was. I carried myself as a lady and have for so many years. So I guess... The only way of proving that she's telling the truth for sure or not is uh, to take a look at Brock Lesnar's junk, I guess. And if it's the same description that Terry gave, she's telling the truth. But in all seriousness, um, more allegations coming out. This was 16 years ago. As she said, Brock was probably in his early 20s at that time. He's in his 40s now, dumb dressing room antics. That's a problem, unfortunately, in the wrestling business. You often have girls coming in and out freely of a male dressing room. I just posted a video of former great North Wrestling Women's Champion of Canada talking about an altercation she had with WWE Hall of Famer Tony Atlas backstage at a Great North Wrestling event where we had four hockey dressing rooms. It was in a hockey arena. And when Tony Atlas was out signing autographs, he'd left his stuff in the dressing room. But in that time, Lady Yasmin had come in there. So when he came back, he wanted to kick her out because he's afraid with all the allegations that float around these days, he doesn't want any allegations, not knowing lady yasmin's personality so he asked her to leave she took it as a sign of disrespect there was an argument i eventually was able to calm it down i always had there's always other options of places to change uh, bathrooms other areas in the arenas a lot of indie shows i mean i've been in many indie shows where you're changing in a kitchen that's off of like a legion hall or a rec room hall in Stampede Wrestling where we used to run with Natty and TJ and Harry Smith and et cetera in Calgary. There was just two bathrooms and we all changed in the bathrooms and there was a little hall in between. So you have to protect yourselves always. I think all these allegations coming out now are going to make companies more leery of this type of thing, especially on the independent scene. But the problem with the independent scene is most independent promoters don't really make a ton of money 
many independent companies only run a couple shows and go out of business because it's extremely hard to make money on independent wrestling. So I think everyone just has to be more careful. Uh, Terry Runnels, who I did the shoot interview with a month or so ago, never brought this up in her interview with me, but she did talk about her hatred of Sable. And I put the link to that interview in the description. Finally, the only thing I'm going to say, a lot of people have asked me about Terry Reynolds and New Jack. Terry didn't want to talk about New Jack in her interview with me. And New Jack put her over in his interview with me. So I think whatever issue New Jack and Terry Reynolds had that led to their breakup as uh, two people seeing each other seems to be resolved now. So. Have a great night, everyone, or have a great day. For me, it's a night. I am a creature of the night. I rise. I usually go to bed when the sun comes up unless I have an early morning appointment. Have a great one.